Hi, we're going to talk about what is NDR, Network Detection and Response, and compare NDR with other technologies such as SIM. And we're going to talk about the benefits of NDR as well as why Sanforce Cyber Command is the right solution for you. You can refer a lot of uh, the details of my conversation in this white paper from Sanfor. Let's get started. What is NDR? Network Detection and Response. Well, if we look at a traditional environment, you've got your firewall, you've got your networks, servers, and then internal users and remote users. Well, typically firewall is designed to monitor traffic that go through the firewall, go to the servers. And you may have a certain AVs deploy it either on your workstations or servers looking for that particular host. This is great. Most of you already have that. But that's not enough. So what um, NDR does, one of the first things it, it does is actually it's, uh, it's, it's a, something called network traffic analysis. The first thing is NTA. So essentially what that does is traffic analysis. So we actually sit right next to your one of your core switches and monitor all the traffic. We analyze traffics well beyond any of your existing security pro products. So one of the first thing we do is in addition to the north-south traffic, we monitor additional traffics north, south, as well as east, west traffic. So typical application may go this way, but a lot of actual internal traffics as well as malware propagation go through your internal environment. So east, west traffic had traditionally been ignored and nobody sees that, NDR sees that. The third thing NDR does is anomaly detection. Well, there are two techniques to do it. One of them is model. Modeling, we build a baseline model. Let's say, hey, um, a finance person, we have um, a, a, a access to the finance server to look at the, the database uh, on, on, a, on, on a typical basis. But if this model dribbles, if this person comes from a remote session at a different time using a, a different access, this may raise a question, as well as the volume of the download might be significantly different. That's modeling. The other one is to implement machine learning or AI to look for something more suspicious. For example, if someone is doing a slow brute force attack trying to guess your passwords, machine learning can actually detect that. So the NDR provides a great detection capability. Let's uh, find some examples. In, um, in our uh, use cases, we actually served thousands of customers. In most cases, within a couple weeks, we find, one of the first things we find is, uh, is, uh, is uh, unmanaged assets. We detect a lot of things that IT don't know about. Many of them actually have security vulnerabilities. We, we find things that a lot of ITs don't know. The other thing is we see things like uh, attackers already came in. And, uh, and these are actually causing problems. They either propagate into other, trying to propagate into other servers or going all the way to other hosts, or they have slow attacks. In addition, we find attacks coming from VPNs, especially during the COVID days. A lot of users are actually uh, connecting to the corporate resource through VPN, SSL, or IPsec. However, once it's been, the VPN has been terminated, they have access to everything. So th the 
health of the remote uh, machines are highly questionable. And, and we found a lot of attacks from that way as well. We also find ghost VMs that are left by other ITs, of course, and many unpatched servers as well. This is very typical in most of our customers' deployment. We find that in a couple weeks. So network detection's first use case is threat detection. The other use case is response. So in terms of response, there are a few things. So we can actually block known attackers. Once we see someone already came in, we can actually block this user. We can do that on an endpoint. We can actually do that on a firewall, block, block a certain port. We can do that as well. That's, that's the first part. Second part is we can help to automate the threat hunting. Threat hunting in security analyst world, uh, they look for a couple things. One of them is they find hidden threats in your environment before they actually became incidents. Secondly, threat hunting is looking for how things came into your environment. Did they come in from someone directly attacked your web server or a phishing email that came in and compromised your remote users first? That's one of the things we need to find. The third thing is incident response. Should something malicious happen, either you know, a ransomware occurred to your, your, one of your uh, workstations, or uh, something malicious happened on your server, your website has been compromised, how do we quickly determine you know, what is happening on that system and how do we actually mitigate that? That's one of the things that the incident response. So uh, in short, network detection response have threat detection and, and correlate response. That's the key value of NDR. So why NDR? Well, one of the first thing uh, we, we do is detect the 1%. Well, all of you already have existing prevention technologies deployed. However, they are not necessarily effective. Every day, there are well over 500,000 new variants of malware coming out. No security vendor can claim they can detect all the new variants, especially zero-day attacks. Nobody can claim that. Cyber Command can detect the 1% that came through your existing defense. Secondly, we use artificial intelligence to fight back AIs because the attackers are using AIs today already. One of the things that we see is the new variants of the malware. Uh, they are actually using different creative ways to write uh, uh, like, a, like phishing emails that are very tailored and specific to the target audience and it's very difficult to detect. They're very easy to come into your network and we can use AI to de detect what has been compromised before the actual damage has happened. The third benefit is we can provide 100% visibility. We can see all your network traffic we can prevent, uh, present you a view of your existing threat landscape and being able to especially particularly show you what has been compromised already in your environment. On top of that, we, you know, we can provide you different visualization of, uh, of a different threat hunting maps, looking at different models and see the timeline of attackers. Next, I would like to compare NDR with other adjacent technologies. One of the first is Security Information Event Management, SIM. SIM is uh, essentially everything based on logs. Logs from your server, logs from your endpoints, logs from your other security 
tools. So uh, it collect logs, correlate logs from different sources, and provide analysis on the logs. One of the biggest use case is log management. If a customer has been requested to retain logs for a certain period of time for a different uh, type of technologies, SIM is a good choice. The other thing is compliance reporting. especially based on different type of logs. And, and a SIM can be a really good tool for that. However, SIM is not enough, uh, especially for uh, threat detection. It doesn't have uh, uh, most of the needed uh, technologies. Uh, oftentimes, customers need to complement SIM with other things such as IDS, intrusion detection systems, to, uh, which is purely signature based. detection to monitor for either network-based attacks or host-based attack. That would actually add more data to SIM. Now, with these together, you can detect things, but it's not enough to provide response. So other technologies that come in that's very recent is SOAR. Security, orchestration, automation, and response. That's exactly what it is. It simplify and automate a lot of these, uh, these, uh, these process and tie it with existing countermeasures to get it to work. So as a, a, um, a security uh, uh, like a team, you may need to put all these together as a part of your SOC. What is wrong with that? So this whole picture one of the biggest challenge is deployment. It takes a long time to deploy, particularly the SIM, you need to tune every one of them. The pre-configured settings will not for a work for your environment. Typical deployment time, especially for those who have already deployed SIM, is well over six months, sometimes even after one to two years, SIM has not been fully deployed. So that's one of the biggest uh, challenge. Secondly, it's costly. Um, depending on different type of uh, technologies, it's going to cost you to acquire these. Uh, oftentimes, it's based on volume of usage as well. And then the other one is noisy. You're going to get a lot of alerts, a ton of the alerts, and it's very difficult to process, right? And then even if you get a lot of alerts, the problem is you need to dig into them. There is no context. There's lack of context. You look at a bunch of logs as a security analyst, you can't tell what this means to you. And then towards the end of the day, you need to put a lot of people to run this operation, especially SIM. You need, need a full team, and they are very expensive, and they're very hard to find. That's the challenge with these technologies. Now, let's talk about how we're different. Next, let's talk about Cyber Command. And, and its value to uh, uh, the customers. One of the first thing is detection. The difference is it's comprehensive. Provide a comprehensive detection capability that allow us to see east-west traffic. We detect unknown assets as well as compromise the VPN users. The second is not only we provide threat hunting capabilities, we simplify that. Well, other tools provide threat hunting as well, but that requires expertise that costs money. 
Sanford Cyber Command has built-in tools such as impact analysis as well as golden eye that allows you to trace back in time and determine how the attacker got in. The third one is not only will provide response, we provide a correlated response. So for example, if our firewall sees a, a, a command and control detection and then our cyber command sees it, it can instruct the suspicious endpoint to perform a self-scan to see if it indeed has been infected and then report the status back to cyber command for a better analysis. So a lot of the responses are very well correlated and they are automated to simplify your workload. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that gave you a good overview of NDR and how it's different from others. I encourage you to go to our website to learn more, go and talk to our local team and check out our products for a demo. But if I were you, I would schedule a proof of value to get our product into your network. Let us find things that you don't know. Detect the one, that 1% one and see what hidden threats and hidden assets we can discover for you. Thank you for watching.